Look at girl. I'm David C. Mark. I farm in Bedfordshire and I am the owner of the sheep here today. This is the ninth year now that they have done the war over the bridge. I've brought 36 sheep here today and these are what we call faves. They are now 18 months of age. Hopefully, in the public's eyes, they do look very smart sheep. The event today is organised by the Worshipful Company of Warman, one of the oldest City of London livery companies. The Company of Warman themselves fund the, my role at Woodlands Farm Trust looking after the young farmers. Our farm provides the volunteers on the day to help look after the sheep and protect them as they come across the bridge. So along with us today, I have a few members of our young farmers from different city farms around London who have come down today for the experience. You will see people around today wearing red gowns who are young freemen who would be apprentices to different livery companies. Traditionally, if you were a freeman of the City of London, you were able to drive your sheep across the London Bridge without being taxed or having to pay the toll, whereas everyone else would have to do that. Nowadays, it's obviously used as a charitable fundraising activity and raises thousands of pounds for the Warman's Charitable Trust and the Lord Mayor's Appeal. We're exercising the ancient right of freemen of the City of London to drive our sheep into the city. We have about 100 young freemen supporting the, the woman to, to marshal the people and the sheep across the bridge. We've got four groups of ewes, roughly around nine ewes in each group. Uh, we have two sets of ewes going in the bridge opposite each other. Um, in four stages across the bridge. So each group of uh, participants gets to run the sheep for a quarter of the bridge. Um, we take each group of ewes the full length of the bridge, then they get a rest, water and hay at either end, and swap over with the next group of sheep and we go back the other way. The volunteers spend quite a lot of time walking backwards across the bridge. This is Chino. Chino is a pet lamb. The rest are all farmers' sheep. And Chino came to us in our house, in our back garden, as a little abandoned lamb. See, she's looking for me for reassurance. So, it's, and the, we've um, bribed her with digestive biscuits. Okay. So, in order for her to be a good girl when she was in my house. We used to treat her to digestive biscuits. If you tried to feed any of the others digestive biscuits, they wouldn't know how to even chew and eat it. It's like all animals. Some animals want to become humanised, and some animals, however much time you spend with them, won't sort of, shall we say, bond with you. But Chino is one of those animals that just loves humans. And she was brought up on digestive biscuits, so she will move anywhere you want her to move with digestive biscuits. People don't realise that London in itself has a number of city farms. Most of them have a very strong educational capacity. Most of them are also working farms, so the, the livestock go towards produce um, and they'll be growing fruit and vegetables. So they get encourage young people from across the city to get involved in, in farming, which is an experience somewhere like London which you wouldn't necessarily get. 
I'm just pleased that the Worshipful Woolmen have taken up their tradition of driving livestock. It does go back hundreds of years, and so it's good that they have revamped that tradition. And we are bringing livestock into London, and I hope that the London people will look and just appreciate where their food is coming from.